know, starting right now, that you have the power today to start creating the life of your dreams. say make a decision yeah I was caught at the decision point where it was up to me to say okay do I stay in the safety of this job or do I jump out and try and live my dream and here's the question that I had for myself because I never saw myself as a businessman I'm a politician I give speeches that make people feel good I ask for votes easy I'm good with that but I never saw myself as somebody who was in business so I had to change the way that I thought about myself at that time and I decided that I was gonna go out there and I was gonna chase my dream now here's what happened. I realized that just like I wasn't ready for office, I wasn't ready for that. But yet here it was in my lap. So the question I had for myself, the question that drove me over those first four months was, who do I have to become in order to make this a reality? Who do I have to become to, to make this what I want it to be? And the first thing I want you to learn about your next level, it's not in a process, it's not in a strategy, it's not in tactics, it's not in the resources. Your next level is inside of you. It's all about who you become in the process of striving for that thing that you really want in your life. Hey everyone, Rico Rivera here with Keller Williams Sack Metro, and I just wanted to do a quick testimonial uh, for my boy Khalif. He came out here, he did a presentation for us at one of our team meetings, and he did such an amazing job. Uh, a lot of people had so much good things to say about him. He's awesome. He does a great, great, great job inspiring people. His story is amazing. And I just can't say, you know, more things about him. Five stars. If I could give him 10, I'd give him 10. So great job, Khalif. Keep on doing what you're doing, man. Go out there and rock it. Now, there are three things that I want you all to know that I want to teach you about how to reach your next level. There's three things because you know what? Even when I decided to run for office, there was something that I had to do and believe about myself that required, that allowed me to be able to do that. When I decided to come into this business, there was something I had to believe about myself that allowed me to do that. And this is the most important thing in reaching your next level. It's the thing that's gonna help you get there faster. It's the thing that's gonna help you be inspired and overcome the challenges that are gonna come your way. And that's having a next level vision. In order to reach your next level, You've got to be clear about what that is. You've got to be clear about all the things that you actually want in your life. And you've got to be confident about your ability to accomplish those things. And your next level really isn't about your next incremental step. It's about understanding where that final step is, that highest place that you're trying to go in your life. Not just the simple things, but the hard thing, the thing that's way out there, and really fixing your vision on that. You know, I have a quote from Dr. Martin Luther King that I love. It says, faith is taking the first step and not being able to see the whole staircase. But he never says you shouldn't be able to see what's at the top. Like, you should know that. So it's so important in developing your, and getting to your next level to have a clear idea of that vision. Because knowing what it is, is the thing that will allow you to bring it into reality. Now here's the challenge. I tell people, have a great vision for your life. Have a compelling vision for your life. But people are held up by one big thing. And that's fear. It's the fear of failure. Most people don't want to try something because they're scared about what will happen if they don't make it. Well, here's one truth I've known and I've learned through this process. Write this down. Fears of failure has killed more dreams than actual failure ever has. It's those people who fail to attempt that never, ever get what they want. So you've got to bust through that. And when you ask better questions, you'll get better answers. So I want you to ask yourself this question to build your vision. What would I do if I knew I would not fail? What would I do if I knew that I would absolutely succeed? Because so many of us are scared to say that. We're scared to say what we really want because we, we don't want to come up short. But as soon as you're honest with yourself about it, you move closer to it because it starts to come into your life. Uh, Khalif is very inspiring, very motivating. If you're someone who's trying to start a business, if you're somebody that works in a business that's started by a young business owner, an older business owner, just um, trying to find your purpose, trying to figure out what makes you successful, and just trying to figure out what your goals are, not just for your work experience, but for life. I think my favorite part about the speech was there was really no fluff to it. It was, this is what you need to do. You need to find your purpose. You need to figure out what makes you and only you successful and um, what fits with your 
your personality and just what your goals are. Just not just every day, but just in life in general. I think it would be fantastic to have Khalif come back to speak. Uh, we actually had a full house. People were really excited to see Khalif and hear what he had to say. And um, just based on the evaluations I read, uh, Khalif definitely delivered. And the final thing that you have to have is you have to have a next level value. Now, when I say next level value, I'm not talking about your net worth and I'm not talking about your self-worth. I'm talking about the value to the world of you reaching your next level. See, here's what I know. If you've been in business for five days or five years, if you're at the bottom of your company or the top of your company, no matter what career you're in right now, no matter what business you're in right now, there is somebody who is benefiting from what you were doing. And only by reaching more people will you ever get to your highest level. So it's about being clear about the beneficiary of it because sometimes we feel selfish. You know, my next level vision was moving to the beach and you know, living the beach life and traveling all around. I thought, that's selfish, I've got work to do, that's selfish. I'm just gonna go enjoy myself? That sounds a little strange, but it's not because I, I'm required to serve so many people to, to create that life for myself. And so for all of you, it's not selfish to want the things that you want, but what's important is to understand who's gonna benefit from that understand how you're going to change lives. Because as you move to your next level, it's important for you to bring other people with you. And I don't care if you're in healthcare, I don't care if you're in vision, I don't care if you're in banking, I don't care if you're in energy, I don't care if you're an entrepreneur. Everybody is benefiting from what you are doing. You've got to do your part. And to reach your next level, you've got to do your part at the highest level possible.